heart of a famous business and political dynasty, Philip Reynolds had an eye on the family pet food business from an early age. I had a very naive idea as to what the business was all about. I used to work all of my summer holidays here and I used to count the number of cans per day and per week that used to leave the plant and heading for the UK. And I had this notional profit on which every can was making. Uh, and I couldn't understand why my father wasn't owning private jets uh, and yachts all around the world. Uh, but I decided that was the life for me. I realised when I joined the business in 82, it was far different from that. It may not have been quite as profitable as young Philip had hoped, but CND Pet Foods continued to grow under his management and play a massive role in the local economy. In a small town or a small village like Edgerstown, and as the largest employer, there are not faces here. There are names here and there's families here and there's people here that I have grown up with and they with me. In 2006, a catastrophic fire ripped through the heart of the C&D plant in Edgewoodstown. I'm really um, working very as hard as I possibly can to see whether there's a way that we can um, return some employment here as quickly as possible. We're standing in part of what was the old canning factory which was destroyed here in, in January of 2006. So you can still see some of the remains of the drains and the floors, some of the floor finishes. For any time I want to be reminded of how close we came to losing everything that we had here. I can look out the window and see the last of what was the canning seals. Well, Philip, how close were you in January 2006 to oh, we losing were, everything? We were on our knees. We would uh, essentially everything that was done here was, was rendered useless. So we were back to a business that had gone from like in excess of 100 million back to 14 million. So we were, we were out of business essentially. Now we were very lucky. We had the business in the UK, so we still had customers. We've rebuilt the plant, not as a canning facility, but as a new state-of-the-art pouch facility. So it's now a business that's producing about 40,000 tonnes a year, uh, 10 million pouches a week, because we feed essentially 10% of the cat population in the UK. Uh, from this site here. 250 people employed on this site, sales in excess of 100 million uh, and growing thankfully. This now is the biggest single uh, private label pet food manu manufacturing pouch facility in the world. We've looked to the future of, of what we can do here. Uh, we've reinvested over 30 million here uh, and I'm delighted to say that you know, it's, it, it, so far it has worked for us, it's been successful. So, so far so good.